guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episodes 9 and 10 of Summertime Renderings. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, this is where she died. What the heck? Why would you interact with your shadow, though? But, okay, wait, wait. Uh, you know what? We're going to wait till the opening. No. But how come that shadow doesn't remember? And like, cause he, I don't. What the fuck? How about from the beginning? I mean, because okay. Is it like every single, t oh God, this could be anything right now. I mean, I'm sitting here thinking that, okay, so let's say the one, the one on the right, the one with the hat, that's the shadow version. Let's just say that, right? So she saw her, the shadow version disappears, maybe dies, whatever, and then another shadow version comes into it. So she can kind of have multiple, multiple of her versions of her can be there all at the same time. So I don't know, maybe there is multiple versions of her walking around the dang island as we speak. Because we had two in one video. It wouldn't surprise me if three pop up. Technically, we have three. Two in the video, one in front of us. That's three. No, but the thing is, it's her. Like, it's a shadow that's following her. Like, bruh. Oh, right there. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, aka the day when the world ends. Woo! Why are you here? Explain. Also, please go put some clothes on. But you're not her, you're a shadow! <laughs> Once again, in the twilight zone. <laughs> No. I mean, because we know this ain't the part where she gets killed. She gets, you know, she dies when she saves her. So... Not the keep out sign. We, I mean, come on, guys. You know, it's keep out. We don't go over there, right? 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 <sighs> All right. A clinic that's haunted. Turn around and let's go home. <laughs> I mean, Ray a little too freaking angered. Like your shadow version of you? Go! This girl got copied twice. Tw oh! That didn't even do enough. <laughs> there you go.
Damn. The fact that she can also do that with her hair? Mm. Yeah, precisely. But the thing is, you died, and technically, you know, she kind of disappeared, but she came back. It, it's confusing already. But they failed. Are we sure that I'm ready to see this? I don't know if I'm ready for this. No, you can't interact with them. Like, I mean, come on now. Think of the space-time continuum and such. You can't have two people interacting that fucks it up. Come on now. <laughs> Put 
another baby. Oh, shit, she's already out in the sea. Because nobody was watching her like that. Shadow took her. Mm -mm. Just dragging her down there. Come on. My thing, okay, let me say this, and, and I gotta say this. Why didn't she just let her go, and she could have immediately saved Ushino? Oh my god, but then still... Damn, so both of them just died right there. And then she killed her, of course. Mm -hmm. and then after that copied the mom and dad and killed them
Hold up. Wait. Wait. What the? <laughs> right? So why is she touching you? Okay, so mother, hold up, how can she do that? How could she have known that they were going to be there at that exact moment in time? What in the world is going on? Oh my god. Okay, so one to see Ujino's like last little bit of her life was very interesting to see but also sad and it, it's cool for her to interact with her shadow and everything and that her shadow wasn't trying to kill her she was just trying to help her and such but because they helped her that that's also the reason why she died so of course does her shadow still feel a whole bunch of guilt yes she kind of really gives me vibes to um Samire from uh, Persona 5 Royal. I mean, if you have playing Persona 5 Royal, yeah, you know. So I'm going, this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to say certain things about Samire and her situation without spoiling and going too, too heavy. So um, with that situation, there was two sisters, one named Kasumi and the other one named Samire. And something happened and Samire blames herself for it and it seems like in a way our shadow version is in that same spot because she's still trying to be the real Ushino when she's not just like with Samire and Kasumi which like I said I'm giving you the hint of what is happening but not really giving you that hint between those two sisters and such and so it, it just makes me feel like when we get to the end of this like Shadow Ushino will finally feel like quote unquote possibly at peace and you know be like hey her death wasn't my fault it just happened we were both trying to save a little girl and prevent her from dying and, and such but she still feels that big sort of guilt I think anybody who you know as, as I was rewatching um, or watching a stream yesterday with one of my favorite YouTubers where she's finally playing P5R and she's up to all where the big spoilery stuff is for Samire and such. Um, somebody said that it, somebody, somebody, um, what did they do? Uh, somebody donated to her and literally put in like a little like mini little comment saying that if it, if I had caused the death of like one of my family members, that would literally break me and such. And maybe that is currently happening to Shadow Ushino as we speak, where she she still feels all that guilt and stuff that she could have she in a way she like she feels like she wishes that she possibly could have done more. And I think all of us, if, if we whether it is a friend, it's a family member, it's a pet, regardless, we all still think about the what if because we want to still see them here with us but there there's sometimes nothing that you can do it's inevitable and it happens and you always really truly I love how my dog popped in can't blame yourself it happens and as someone who really blamed herself over um losing one of her dogs and such and stuff and sometimes I'm still like that even now because I got this one right here and he looks like both of them even though he, he he's not brown a dark brown no, a, a light brown and black he's full-on white little white puppy and he looks exactly like both of them and I see it I see it every single time I look at him and it just it makes me happy but then sad at the same time because I do wish my two previous dogs were here with me but I mean in a way they are <laughs> with him <laughs> it's such come here Cody come here like seriously, because he acts like both of them all the time. 
and it's not even funny. But yeah, this, this episode was good. Just want to know about Mother and what the heck Mother is doing in her ish. You know, just need to know about that. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Why she grab onto him like that? What What's that mark going to do now? Is she going to now track him with that mark? I mean, that's the only thing I can think he can do. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 10. Alrighty, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Jesus, that one break too. I have a pen. I kind of wish I had like a freaking nail thing. Mm Yeah, but... Mm-hmm. Mother. Mm -mm. Which is why you came back that night. I don't have a good feeling about that. Can we at least bring a weapon with us, please? Yes, Ushino went there, but still. I got a bad feeling. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Well, yeah, because tomorrow all y'all die. All of you. Well, I feel like she is shadow now. I mean, because I don't think, like, mm, it, it could be different now, yeah. Mm -mm. Wasn't that a little weird how he was asking that and such?
right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is weird unless there's more shadows inside I mean because you know previously we saw that in the previous episode so who knows you can hide a lot of things in an abandoned clinic I mean, girl, you're a shadow, so you shouldn't be afraid of anything. <laughs> What's wrong? Very creepy. Don't touch it. Hell, you know, it could be Junpei from Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's wrong? Okay. Hmm? Album?
Is it a door? Nah, it's just a regular old crack. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Bring it back over. Oh. Okay, so now the question is, who has the key? I mean, you said you was hungry, so why would you say? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this girl just had a food, baby. <laughs> Yeah, like it's pregnant. Yeah! <gasps> what the fuck? That's a key. Okay, what's behind the door now? Ladder? Why well, I feel like we're going now in a once again, Resident Evil territory. What is this show? <laughs> yeah, why would your dad also keep this a secret? Once again, do we have a weapon? Y'all, I mean, we got a baseball bat, but you know, that can barely do ish. This is giving me hella catacomb vibes. This could lead literally all across the freaking island. Remember, we can always kill you and just start over. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you need to be protected. The biggest thing is we can't lose her. She's very liable. So, I mean, with Shin, he can die no matter what, regardless. We just cannot lose her. <laughs> yeah. We can't have lovey-dovey moments right now, okay? Please be careful. Mm. Gun shells. Like, all the way from the 60s old. Okay, that was just a mouse. Just a Christ. Lord, oh my God. Oh, 
All right, so let's also vote. <laughs> I'll vote not following the rat. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, it looks like a baby. Why does it its head look like that though? It didn't move. I mean, because it has no upper head. It has no eyes. No. Oh, but it can smell you. Oh, Ooh, I want to be, <laughs> I want to be on myself. Oh, my God, Jesus, you're having your life flash before your eyes right in that moment. It's okay. I was worried too. <laughs> you okay? I mean, hold up, Shin. Wait, wait, my boy. Yeah. Then we keep going. Mm. 
And of course, that's not going to be good. She can't continuously hide that. That's going to show back up. Chance. That didn't sound good. Where are you now? I don't like the music. I don't like where we're going with this. Well, we dying today. Oh, okay. Okay. Baby shadows are everywhere. How are y'all gonna survive? Y'all can't. You just can't. No. Mm-mm. 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 You know what's weird? And I'm about to say this. It's like, okay, because they got, got into that room, it feels like they are close to, like, where, um, mother possibly is. I could be wrong about that, but bro, mm -mm. no ma'am, <laughs> no, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am, mm -mm. are like, okay, um, how else can I say this, you know, they could be close to like where, like the egg or something, where all the shadows are like present, where they're born or something, but that's the place I would not want to be. <laughs> <laughs> new that's like their uh their headquarters their home like you don't you don't want to be in that place like not in that domain uh-uh new no 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 heck no <laughs> how the heck are they gonna get out of this like oh my god it, it shouldn't is Shinpei going to have to kill himself again so he can go back in time and literally now tell both Shadow Ushino and Sho about what the heck happened for, like, in this moment to them? <sighs> okay. And, and then Mio and, and Sho's sister and how she was acting. She was acting, like... Uh, in a way, she was acting the way she was acting, like, when we found out that she... Um, betrayed them and such. And then she got killed for it. But I, I don't know because really there, there's a lot of unanswer unanswered questions of it right there, right then and there. Heck, you know, she could still be working with them as of right now, even though we are in a different timeline or one, once again, butterfly effect moment. We we're still whatever they're going to still do. It's still going to lead up to what the heck is happening on the 24th. That's it. But. It, woo, okay this can go once again it can go anywhere and everywhere at the same time both of these episodes were really uh, i mean just like phenomenal and very good in a little bit of explaining some things that i had questions about for the last few weeks but you're still leaving me with more even more questions than i, <laughs> that I had before watching these two episodes so hopefully next week these three are okay they're able to get out safely in ish um also to report back to what's her face and dude um i'm glad once again that we got the backstory on you know the last couple of days of ushino's life because that was something that i really wanted to see for like possibly maybe since episode two and such because you need clarity on that but i wasn't really expecting it for these two episodes i was mm, kind of really expecting it more towards the second half of this show and such 
Um, because some like it kept like you know when you're like beating around the bush and you're like okay we we need to see what happened to her and how you know we know she died doing like she got choked but what all led up to her in this is that so yeah i am glad we got to see that but i kept thinking like nah they're not gonna show that until we get like closer and closer to the end of this show but now since they've shown it once again i don't know where we're going with it but I love it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 9 and 10 of Summertime Rendering. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 11 and 12. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.